what to say, really. Three minutes to the biggest battle of our professional lives. All comes down to today. Either we heal as a team, or we're going to crumble. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. Successful teams have people that are great teammates, that they care and respect one another, that they're willing to sacrifice for, for the team and that they don't just think about themselves. Um, people that love the game and are eager to learn. Um, people that's going to like communicate to each other but also listen because they understand that everybody can teach them something. Um, and also us people that's going to buy in what we're trying to do and really like fill out their roles. And um, finally, teammates that are gonna pick each other up and that's gonna, that's gonna really get the best out, out of everybody. Qualities and characteristics of successful teams for me are trust, you gotta trust the people that you play with. You have to have each other's backs and you gotta be ready to do everything the, teams need, the team needs you to do. Some qualities and characteristics of a successful team are trust, um, hard work, passion, and listening skills. <laughs> qualities of a successful team include being accepting. So you have to accept your role and know that each player brings something different to the table. Um, another characteristic of a successful team is having trust and confidence. So you have to have trust in yourself, trust in your teammates, trust in the system. Because if you don't have trust in your teammates or trust in, your, in the system, like you're going to try to do everything by yourself. And that's not how you win. Um, also, when things go wrong, you have to believe that the system is going to work. And you got to keep following what the system is about. So, of course, you have to trust in the system. Um, and you have to have confidence that that's gonna work out um the qualities and characteristics that successful teams have are dedication hard working determination um you have to have trust in the team i want to say a successful team is a team who never give up you see on the clock there is 40 minutes you have to play 40 minutes and you don't just have to play with your skills, you have to play with your heart. A few characteristics that successful teams have are passion, the ability to listen, definitely, and respect for one another. The qualities of a good team are leadership, a great bond on and off the court, everyone knowing their roles, hard work and dedication. Some qualities and characteristics that a successful team has is playing hard, working together, communication for the most part, and giving it all you have. Like, you have to sacrifice yourself. To me, the qualities and characteristics that a successful team has are really about like the players coming together, like making each other better, wanting to make each other be better, pushing each other to the limits, and um, uns being unselfish, um, not thinking of just one, like just yourself. You have to think of the whole team and what you can do to benefit the team and um, what you can do to make the team successful. Like if each and every one of us thought like that, then I feel like we'd be in a lot better shape. Um, a successful team needs uh, teamwork, people who actually care for each other and are able to sacrifice their free time, whatever they have to sacrifice for the team. Uh, what it takes for a team to be successful is um, we need to have like, well they need to have good chemistry and they uh, communicate very, very well. Like everybody's always on the same page, there's never someone lost. 
Some qualities and characteristics that a successful team has is um, cooperation, determination, energy, teamwork, communication, working hard, playing defense, and just being a family on and off the court. Um, the qualities and characteristics that successful teams have is teamwork, trust, the ability to listen and cooperate, and respect. Okay, so successful teams need to have heart and hustle. They need to be competitive, they need to have each other's back, and they need to never give up. And for us to make playoffs this year, we have to fight with every inch we have for this team and uh, fight all the way to the end. Um, what will it take for our team to make playoffs? We just have to play with heart and play like we actually want it. What is it going to take to help us make it to the playoffs? It's going to take us being coachable and listening more. We're listening all the time. Because every time we lose, we know that it's because we don't listen. We started doing our own thing. We started deviating away from the game plan. So we have to stop doing that. Also, accountability is going to help us make it to the playoffs. If you make a mistake, just own up to it. But don't dwell on it because the game is going on. You don't got time to say and talk about it. It's, it's, a, it's a time and place for everything, and that's not the time to do it. Save that for another time. Um, and lastly, you have to believe, like you actually have to believe that we're going to make the playoffs because nobody else is going to think that we're going to make it. Everybody's counting on us to fail. So if we don't believe, who is going to believe? So that's what's going to help us make it to the playoff. For us to make playoffs, we definitely have to trust in each other and work hard and have each other's backs and just keep fighting till the end. To get to the playoffs, we just really need to take in all those, take in those, like, those characteristics and put them to work, because if we don't, then it's gonna be very difficult to get to the playoffs. To make playoffs, I think we really need all of those qualities. We need to really push, I think we need, <laughs> That fire that we have every game that we win, I think we need to bring that to every single game and make sure that we have each other's back and make sure that that is something that we rely on. So we need to make sure that everybody brings every bit of fire inside them to every game. To make playoffs, we have to play hard and together and finish our games. Win. For us to make playoffs, we need to communicate better, we need to work as a whole, we need to get the job done, and we need to sacrifice ourselves every single game so we can make playoffs. I feel like what we have to change is uh, to actually believe that we can win because sometimes we go to a game and we are not like 100% sure that we can actually uh, win this game. So if we change our men mentality, everything can is possible to make to make it to the playoffs. In order to make playoffs, um, I feel like it's gonna take um, obviously a lot of hard work and, but most of all, I feel like it's gonna take like us playing with passion and fire and determination to win. To make it to the playoffs, I feel like we need to be more consistent instead of having like good days and bad days. So if we keep our consistency, well, we could be like a really unbeatable team and we also have gotta believe in ourselves more. Some things that we could do to for us to get to the playoffs is just get a stronger bond because I think that would change a lot of things. And um, rebound, like continue to talk on the court as well. We just have to defend for us to get better. I, I think our defense is what's going to determine whether we win or not. What it will take for our team to make the playoffs is to input these characteristics and be on the same page. How are we going to get to the playoff? It depends on us. Nobody else can do the work for us. If you want to go to the playoffs, you're going to go to the playoff. That's what I learned. But if you not, you have any motivation, you're just here because you have to be here. Nothing comes from the comfort zone. You have to go out of your zone, work hard, sacrifice yourself, all of the stuff everybody said. But stop saying, just do it. Um, for us to make the playoff this year, um, I think first we have to come together as a team. And I do think that the talk we had this weekend helped. Um, 
we have to make sure we understand what our role is and be willing to fill out that role no matter if it changed from games to games or possession to possession. Um, come to practice and be ready to, to get better and you know come with the purpose that we want to win and that's why we're, we're here. And um, I think the most important is that we work for one another, fight for one another and just, just really have that winning mentality that we can, we can still do it and we, we have the, the team to do it. And um, finally, we just got to really believe it, really believe it until, you know, that we're going to make the playoff because we are. You got to look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. You're going to see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're going to do the same for him. That's the team, gentlemen. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals.